Hey beautiful, welcome back. If you're new here, my name is Midi and if you're returning, welcome back. I appreciate it. So today I'm going to be talking about the things that you don't get to be told before you installed your micro logs and your sister logs. Okay, one of the things that you might not be aware of is that you might combine your logs at the end of the day rather you might combine some of your logs at the end of the day why because during the installation of sister lock let's say and micro logs if you established greed on your head there is usually the uniformity in the size of the um, log formed and because the density of our hair at various points of our head is not the same but because of grit the size will have to be the same you know for that for that grit to be established okay though the the size of the uh, box formed on your head may be the same but the size of the lock that is going to form at the end of the day is not going to be the same the areas where the density of your hair is not so much are going to end up looking smaller than other parts of your head and most especially areas that are close to the edges of your head and even some other parts of your hair depending on you and depending on how your hair grows okay there are things that i have come across that after the installation of the logs and giving it some time some of the logs at the edges end up growing thin because as the logs grow longer the hair that is shed on the log you know they are not going to fall off they are going to cling onto your logs okay and they are part of the things that are going to form the the thickness the log look of the hair and of course the length okay and so this shared hair and the length of the lock kind of exert some pressure on the roof that the new that is on the roof of the hair that is the new hair that are going to be growing out okay and so because of that it forms some kind of stress and then the new hair growing out will not be able to support the weight of the hair that are growing out and this will eventually start to break off and even thin out <laughs> along the length of the hair some of this look eventually falls off and in order for you to avoid the locks from thinning out or falling off it means then that you need to combine the closest lock to this particular lock that are kind of you know thinning out but if you are thinking that oh you don't want your grid to be disturbed you want to maintain the beauty of what they had formed for you then you have to accept that these locks are going to fall off eventually this is not likely to be applicable for everybody okay because there are some people that even though they have established greed on their locks if they are carrying micro locks they have the option of choosing the size that they want okay it is only in sister locks that they have established size that they do and you don't really have say into that so that is one thing that you have to accept along the long journey okay um the second one would be stress okay stress do have negative effect on your health as well as your well-being okay it could be work stress it could be emotional stress and so on and so forth whatsoever could have triggered it its effect it's always negative especially if you don't you know take note of it immediately if you are carrying micro locks or even sister locks because these are tiny locks all right and they have their peculiarity they have their um, unique characteristic if you are under stress and your health is being affected your well-being is being affected your eating habits your um, meant, um your monthly flow if you are a woman and even your mood 
This subsequently affects the growth of your hair and it may end up thinning out at some point on your head. It is not likely going to be the same for everybody. There are some people that their hair begins to thin out at the center of their head, some at the part and some even at the edges, okay? There's a possibility that this could happen and this could affect your hair and eventually your locks may you know, thin out and fall off, okay? And when this starts to happen, then you know the source and then you know what you need to do, you know, start taking care of your head, eating well and all that, okay? Avoid stress as much as possible. But if your hair begins to fall out, like in six, 10 locks, more than 10 locks, then I am very sure that it has an underlying health effect and this is the time for you to visit one of the healthcare center around you and you know take care of your head and so another thing that you need to take note of that you might not be aware of or might not have been told that it is possible to happen to your micro locks or your sister locks or tiny locks generally is that during weight loss weight loss generally could be as a result of different things it could be due to a physical stress it could be due to mental stress it could be due to poor health or even a deliberate action to lose weight okay and so it might result to hair loss and hair loss that happens as a result of weight loss or caused through restrictive dieting or weight loss surgery you know this type of weight loss is generally referred to as telogen effluvium and this is a medical term <laughs> okay so if you want to know more about it you need to google it right this could happen to you if you are on your log journey and then you decided that you need to lose weight okay and if whether it is a deliberate action or not this could result to you losing some of your locks okay what you should do then is for you to take care of yourself and do not be alarmed because the moment you know the source of a problem the problem is half solved okay another one is the reverse weight gain okay some people might never ever thought that weight gain could result to you losing some of your locks and it is possible because when you gain more weight okay when you put on more weight and you become bigger when you begin to you know get bigger and your skin expand your scalp expand and yes this can result to depletion of hair follicle stem cells through the creation of inflammatory signals which block hair follicle regeneration and could result to hair loss eventually this may sound strange to you but it happens okay it happens and it might not happen to you it might not happen to everybody but if it happens then you know what it means another possibility is for you to lose this locks accidentally okay initially when i started off i started with um almost 300 locks i think i had 296 or 290 something or thereabouts okay and when i met my sister that is carrying traditional lock probably she had not seen locks that are that small before and she was like no this is not going to last because by the time they start to grow out that i will not be able to retain them that they will cut they will fall off and all that she kind of put the doubt in my mind and she wasn't the only one actually i met some other people too that believe that tiny logs may not you know be able to stand you know test of time when they start to grow longer okay but i have come to realize that there are some people that are carrying long tiny locks and they are able to retain their length and their locks okay so when when i contacted one of them she told me that oh no she had never lost her locks the only time that she did was when a ring snatched one of the locks and she pulled it accidentally and then the lock 
caught okay so you might lose your luck accidentally so if that happens i'm sure probably you attach it back or you don't sweat over it okay so that is that another thing that could happen to you is that the box that was formed during your greed is likely to change okay you know most of the time those people that have moving scalp like the scalp on their head is so soft that you can kind of squeeze it and you'll see the movement okay such scalp when you when the grid are established after some times and then you need to retire your lock if you have gone too far in between your retire you might find it difficult you know to re-establish your lock and thereby you know cutting some part of hair some hair from some part of the box to another and eventually those boxes that you keep taking hair from will eventually thin out and the lock might fall off okay so that is a possibility that you should know of and you should you know think put into consideration if you want to avoid something like that then you need to make sure that you don't go far in between your retire another thing you should know you should be aware of is that children that have locks at early stage <laughs> like you th there's a possibility that you will lose some locks okay and that is because children's cap are expanding they are still expanding their heads are still growing their scalp are still expanding and this is something that had happened to me because i have a child that i started her uh, micro logs when she was barely four okay and then i started experiencing some logs at the tip of her neck you know getting thin out just because they were the the hairline was expanding and so the hair was moving and then the strand that was holding onto the lock formed around that area was becoming thinner and there was a particular one that almost fell off so i had to join okay i had to combine the locks and after some time i realized that it is something that is going to be happening for a while so what i did was to loosen the locks around that area and i braided the air okay which would then allow me to lose the braid and braid again till I am sure, certain that lock can eventually stay in those areas, okay? So if you have a child that is as small as I mentioned, then you should expect such things to happen. And then, of course, you know what to do when it happens so thank you guys once again for tuning in don't forget to like this video subscribe to my channel for more video like this and do stay blessed stay beautiful and i'll see you in my next video bye